I'm standing at the junction of New Market Street and Market Street in Ulverston and one of the things that's notable for the town about the town is that it has cobbles. Now there are mixed feelings about cobbles. Some people feel they're they should be all asphalted over. However, recent days have shown just what the problems with asphalt is. As long as it's smooth, as we have here in Newmarket Street, which has just recently been done, there are no problems with freezing conditions because the water can't penetrate. The minute a contractor comes along and digs a hole or there is any damage then we have a problem because the water can start getting in the cracks and we get potholes and repairing a pothole is extremely difficult to do it effectively. So you get repeated damage over the years and we can show parts of Olverson that really have a problem. But with cobbles, if the repair is done well, then the repair will stand up for years without any further problems. The problem has been in Alverston that the Cumbria County Council has not supervised the repairs that be quick required after contractors have dig dug holes to service pipes um, and electrical cables that go under the street. The most horrendous example was in 2007 when United Utilities put a water main down the centre of the street, dug numerous holes and did a rubbish job repairing them. They've admitted that and they've been back to repair the various spots in the street which they felt we're responsible for and they can do a good job but they didn't at the time. One place where they did a good job is just here. This was dug up recently, about a, a year ago, and they, this little patch here was dug up and put back extremely well because they knew that I was in touch with their boss at um, Penrith and now they are doing an extremely good job of the repairs they make. But this surface still has a lot of problems and it's just been amazing how long it's taken for Cumbria County Council to come and deal with quite horrendous situation. And that is demonstrated by this, these holes here, gaping holes in the cobbles that make it very dangerous to walk across unless you're watching what you're doing. And there have been reported cases where people have had accidents um, resulting in severe injury to their legs and a lot of old people just avoid coming anywhere near this area because they can't see very well and this is what they meet. Now the problem arises when contractors dig, dig a hole and backfill it with the soil they dug up. That then settles and gives depressions which attract water. So we've got one depression here uh, in front of us. And as you go down Market Street, you will see these depressions and poor cobbles. Now this area is appalling and is one of the places that are up for repair. And as you go down the, the uh, road, you will find areas that do not need any repair. They don't need touching. 
Um, they're in extremely good condition. If you ever look, look over here, but here is a patch that does need repair. So as you go down, plenty of areas that don't need any attention whatsoever will stand up for the next 20 years because it's a good combination of the filler in between the, the sets and the sets themselves. They are extremely hard wearing. Here we got a depression. And here's another area that is pretty bad. Now, as I understand it, the Cumbria County Council are only going to repair the length that I've just walked. That's Newmarket Street to Brogdon Street. And they're stopping here. Yet, as we go down, particularly at the next intersection, there are areas urgently of needing attention. We've got the situation where there are depressions in the road surface, rising out of contractors not good in using good material to backfill. And um, here's an area that's uh, pretty horrendous. And then we've got areas in the middle of the intersection here. We've got all ups and downs. And here, I don't know if you can see it, we've got a depression here, cobbles that are working their way loose. And because good workmanship was not done at the time of backfilling for the repair, we've got a, an ongoing situation that's hazardous. This, as I understand it, is not being done by the contractors. So we're going to be subjected to our road being closed for sev several weeks with trade being disrupted. And in spite of that, we'll end up with a poor result because only half the job is being done. Now, when I, when I researched this situation, I was able to find out from Preston Highways Department how they dealt with their cobbles, and they have very rigorous checks on the work that it's done. And they made recommendations of both how the work should be done, but in particular, about the material that should be used in filling in the gaps between the sets so that that material lasts well. And they, their research has indicated that ultra Crete flow point, ultra Crete flow point was the material they thoroughly recommended having tested it themselves. This information has been passed on to Councillor James Airy and I trust this advice is being taken account of in the work that's been done. I must say I'm very apprehensive about the results of the work that are going to be done and feel very disappointed that only half the job is being done. The history behind this is to do with the fact that when United Utilities admitted to having done poor work, Cumbria County Council did a deal with them that they would contribute to the cost of putting right the, work, the poor workmanship that they admitted to having done in the past. And they then made a contribution to the cost of the future work. So although £100,000 is being put forward by the Cumbria County, um, I suspect an undisclosed amount is also being put forward by United Utilities, who d dug up so many uh, areas in the in the cobbles that we've just seen. 
this area that I'm walking past is not going to be touched and what I feel is needed is a dedicated team that is trained on dealing with cobbles well and should be in charge of doing all the work in Cumbria so policy work is done at all times.